everyone. Welcome back. It is January 31st, but not only is it January 31st, today's a special day. Joey, do you know what day it is? Well, if I'm correct, it is also Epiphany 4, the season we're learning about. We're learning all about Jesus. This is the season when the wise men follow the star to where Jesus had been born. Right. Well, before we go on, though, let's say our children's creed. We don't want to forget. Kids, you can say it with us. I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe the Spirit, too, comes to teach us what to do. I believe that I can be kind and loving, Lord, like thee. Amen. So today's Epiphany 4 because it's the fourth Sunday after January 6th. That's right. January 6th seemed like a long time ago, but we're almost toward the end of the Epiphany season before we start Lent. All right, we're going to learn about Jesus teaching with authority today. And authority is kind of a big word, but it means kind of having the ability to make people want to listen to you. And our verse today comes from Mark chapter 1, verses 21 through 28. So I'm going to read and you guys listen. Jesus and his disciples went to Capernaum. And when the Sabbath came, he entered the synagogue and taught. They were astounded at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not one of the scribes. Just then, there was one in their synagogue, a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, what have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him and saying, Be silent and come out of him. And the unclean spirit, convulsing him and crying in a loud voice, came out of him. And they were amazed and they kept on asking one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. At once, his fame began to spread throughout the surrounding region of Galilee. It was a very interesting time for sure, Maddie. Our verse today had a lot of things in it, but it talks mostly about how Jesus is obeyed. Hmm. Very interesting. That was really interesting. Joey, did you know that each of us is made in the image of God and God desires that we live as God made us? Hmm. Kids, what does God want of you? You should look for the light of Christ all around you. Take bold steps as the Magi more than 2,000 years ago to follow the star to our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Next week will be Epiphany 5. I'm so excited. Yeah, that's right. But kids, think about Jesus this week and how important what he said was. And when he did talk, people listened. Just like the man with the unclean and bad spirit in his heart. When Jesus talked, it came out. Authority. It's a big word, but it's good. All right, I think I'll do the closing prayer for us, Maddie. Okay. God, you govern all things both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully hear the supplications of your people. And in our time, grant us your peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Well, bye, kids. We will see you next week. We bye. hope you have a good week, and please think about Jesus this week. Bye.